In this presentation I'd like to share with you the drawing project that I've been working on during our experience of the pandemic lockdown. When lockdown started I went into shock like many people and I didn't make anything for a while and then once the shock had worn off I decided I really wanted to make some sort of artwork about lockdown and I started making drawings in an A4 sketchbook. An important thing was that I decided to post one of them every day onto Instagram. I wanted to make something that was more ambitious, something that addressed the issues of lockdown in a more comprehensive way. I was looking at one of the art community sites that had been developed in lockdown and saw a nice video by Susie Calvert sharing how to make a sketchbook from a single sheet of paper. This was an intriguing idea and by making my own I was responding to her act of generosity in making the video. It's a simple folding and cutting idea and I made an initial one out of an A2 piece of paper. When I opened it at the end of the day to photograph it for Instagram I realised that I'd made it so all the drawings were orientated in different ways. So on the second one I put a dot on each page as an orientation so the drawings all came out upright. I realised I'd got a grid. I carried on doing these, each one finished in a day, each one photographed and put onto Instagram. The folded sketchbook was enough of a trigger, a nudge, to get me going into a different pathway. By folding up the paper it became a convenient thing to carry around the house and work on tables and so on, whilst at the end of the day it opened up into quite a large drawing. What I developed was a protocol, a procedure, a methodology or frame within which to explore some of the concerns of lockdown. For two days I drew newsreaders and television experts and I developed these by using a wider range of materials and by using a different sort of fold so I ended up with eight panels and this idea stuck and I came back to this. But most of the work at this point was on these small folded up books. The themes of the drawings developed. They explored the restricted horizons, the limited subject matter, familiarity, domesticity, the enclosure of being inside a house and garden. We are shielding so we weren't uh, able to go for walks even. The appreciation of small things, of our own environment, of making do with our own resources. Part of my research interest is in the study of creative process and in doing this in this way I was sharing a, a working process. I was also sharing a, an attitude to making art and making art in a very difficult circumstance of being locked down as we all are. This is a process of having small ideas and them accumulating over a period of time. We're lucky enough to have a garden and spending more time in the garden, looking at the plants, digging the vegetable patch over, as many people have done, was also an important part of our lockdown experience and is reflected in the drawings. I don't usually do this many botanical drawings. Many of the drawings are still live studies of things on the kitchen table as they move around. They develop uh, as characters. They keep coming back in the timeline of the drawings. They move around, they get tidied up. I decided that I didn't really want to talk about my feelings in the drawings. I was doing a lot of writing in a notebook and I, I left my feelings in the notebook. And I thought that my feelings would, would show through the drawings without my being overt about them. Some of the objects relate to the lockdown. Images on screens, newspapers, there are folded face masks here and there, a delivery box and so on and so forth. Particular things which we've all got used to in lockdown. I posted the sheets of drawings on Instagram every day and this was an important discipline. It was something I had to aim to aim for, a target that I had to achieve every day. It was also nice to connect with other people who were also sharing their work on Instagram, uh, reaching out 
and I found that quite important, quite heartening really. Doing the drawings and having this project has helped me get through the lockdown. It's been very important. The drawings are an opportunity to enjoy making marks and I started to play with this more. I made some bamboo pens out of bamboo that's growing on the waste ground behind the house and um, I quite enjoy the mark that these make and these uh, were all done with Indian ink and uh, a hand cut bamboo pen and watercolour. The pen holds a lot of ink and gives you a really nice uh, sinuous line. I really enjoyed these. I also use a, a cheap number 10 paintbrush a lot as well. Food has been an important thing in lockdown I think and there's uh, lots of references to food and eating. I was also thinking about symbolism and there's quite a lot of guttering candles decaying flowers, the remains of meals. These are all memento mori, of course. There's also lots of drawings of the tools of my trade, the pencils and pens and brushes, which I've lived with on the table in front of me for years now. I was also thinking of artists such as Mirandi and Bono, neither of whom got out much. So playing around with the frame, developing the grid, using different sorts of backgrounds, treating some parts thematically on some days, some days just drawing completely different things depending on how I picked up the book, sometimes planning a bit more, putting flowers in the checkerboard and often not. Playing with different materials, acrylic paint here. The drawings are an exploration of creative process of adding a small idea to a previous idea, proceeding by quite small steps towards an unknown goal. The wider world impinges on this drawing. A couple of copies from newspapers. This sort of thing is very popular on Instagram, a time lapse of your working process. The drawings are all made by direct observation from the object. I don't use photography in their making. The process of observational drawing in this sort of manner is a process of both focus, looking at the thing you're drawing, being aware of the tool, the materials, the paper, and it's also a sort of distraction because you're focused on that and not on everything else. I also developed how I treated the surface of the paper. These have got a lot of mark making, collage, paint, and then they're sealed with a layer of gesso, which makes the surfaces quite bumpy, which I quite like working on, and it gives the pictures this sort of another level, another depth to them. I've also made a number of independent works and prints and cards which spin off from the main drawings and I've experimented with putting them on uh, a big cartel shop and connecting to the artist support pledge which is going on on the internet. Over recent days I've stopped cutting the paper. They've become drawings and have nothing to do with books. They're still folded for the sake of convenience of carrying them around but they've become completely drawings in these the grid dissolves and the drawings run into each other giving a sort of dreamlike quality having toyed with dissolving the grid these last few reassert the grid with dark background colors white pens and this is where i am now it's not a completely finished project it's ongoing we're still locked down i've accumulated enough to fill a gallery space and uh, I'm going to carry on. I don't know where this is going to lead, whether it'll lead to bigger paintings or a different sort of work. It's an ongoing process. Thank you for watching.